Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sanjana. Today in this module, we will configure Cisco ASE firewall using ACL. This module is a continuation of my previous video where we had applied group policy and inspection of ICMP and HTTP. The link has been shared in the description box below. In this module, we will apply ACL instead of ICMP inspection. Let's get started with the lab. The topology is very simple. This is the same topology that we had discussed in our previous uh, lab. Okay, and um, all I have added here is just this DMZ zone. At the end of the lab, we will verify the following. We will be verifying the connectivity from this PC. Okay, which is present in the inside VLAN 1 to reach the Google server present on the VLAN 2, that is the outside. And also, we will be verifying that from the DMZ server, which is in higher security level 50, to reach the Google server. Okay, and of course, we will also see connectivity from the Google server to reach the public static, static IP address. So here, the topology is very simple. I have taken 192.168.10.0 with dot one assigned on this port, 200.10.10.0 network for the VLAN two for the outside with dot one on this ASA firewall and dot two on the router and 8.8.8.0 connected between the router and the Google server with dot, with dot uh, 8.1 on the router and 8.8 .8 for the Google server, okay? Now, I have already pre-configured this uh, to server. So if you would like to verify this server here, is 8.8.8, .8 okay? And its default gateway is this 8.1, all right? And uh, for the DMZ server, the IP address is 10.5, and default gateway is 10.1, which is this Cisco ASA port, okay? So that's the configuration. It's already present on both the server. Now let's go ahead and configure VLAN 1 for inside, VLAN 2 for outside, and VLAN 3 for the DMZ zone. Okay, let's get started with the configuration. Let's proceed with um, configuration mode. Interface VLAN 1. Okay, so for this one, we have 192.IP um, address is 192.168.10.1. It's slash 24. Okay. And we say name if inside. And by default, the security level is 100, but you can still um, manually specify the security level, no harm. And you can exit out. And don't forget to allocate the port number here. So Ethernet 0 slash 0 has to be configured for the switch port VLAN 1. So interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 switch port access VLAN 1. OK, so that's completed. Let's move to interface VLAN 2 for the outside. OK, so for the interface VLAN 2 IP address. So what's the IP address? 192. Dot, oh. It's outside IP address. That should be 200.10.10.1. So that's going to be 200.10.10.1 with slash 24. Okay. And you can say name if outside. 
okay by default it is zero but okay that's fine exit and let's specify the port number so what's the port number here ethernet zero slash one right so zero slash one switch port access vlan two exit okay now interface vlan three for interface vlan three we need to configure dmz so what's the ip address here it is 10.10.10.1 10 .10 10 with slash 24 okay name if if you specify it will give an error called no forward error but if you want to check that error you can specify and it is no forward and so you can say no forward interface vlan one now you should be able to give the dmz name and that will work here the default security level for dmz is zero and i would like to increase the security level from zero to 50. so i will manually type the security level and i would say exit okay so um, we need to configure the port number we still haven't configured the port number that's interface ethernet zero slash two ethernet zero slash two switch port access vlan three okay so that's completed now we will go ahead to configure the router on the router We'll say no, we don't need to do all the initial configuration setup. And uh, we have two interface here. So let's configure um, interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero. And IP address here is 200.10.10.2 with slash 24. Okay. And Mm, we will say no shut okay now we need to configure one more ip address here for the gigabit port ethernet zero slash one so interface gigabit zero slash one okay ip address eight dot eight dot eight dot one yeah with slash 24 okay yeah so no shut that's completed all right so we have configured all the ip address respectively now let's go ahead and verify with the command show switch vlan and you can see all those status or up and the port numbers are configured okay and um, there is another command that you can use to verify show interface ip brief section we can see all these ip addresses have been assigned Ethernet zero slash one and two is showing unassigned. You can only see VLAN one, two, and three because this is uh, this are all in uh, Ethernet zero slash one and zero slash two or a part of a switch port access, right? You can only see the VLANs, okay? If you want to specify this show, interface inside okay show interface outside line protocol is up vlan 2 is up that's what you see interface tmz
VLAN is up, LAN protocol is up. Okay. Now, um, in order to have these two PCs um, to automatically get the IP address assigned, let's configure DHCP. But before that, let's see if, if we already have any pre-configured uh, settings um, in our uh, Cisco ASA firewall show run. Uh, I see, okay, this is looks fine. And DNS is present. Okay, there's a default gateway that's already present. So all we will do is allocate a pool. So DHCPD address. So I have already reserved 192.168.10.1 on this port. So apart from that, let's take um, 192.168.10.1 192.168.10.5 until 192.168.10.20, okay, for the inside. Okay, so now default uh, gateway is already specified, DNS is specified, and we need to just enable DHCP for the inside. Okay, exit. So if you wanna show run command, you will see the, okay, you will see the DHCPD commands over here. Let's now try to request the IP address and see if that is successful. And yeah, the DHCP has automatically assigned 10.5 for this PC. And for this, let's check. 10.6, okay, so the PC have got the IP address, but in order to communicate between the VLAN one present in inside to the VLAN two present outside, it has been blocked by the Cisco ASA firewall. Unless you don't have a service policy inspection, or um, if you don't have a ACL, okay, the traffic will not be allowed. Here in our lab, we will be using ACL along with the dynamic NAT for inside, and we will be configuring a static NAT for the DMZ, okay? So between the uh, private network to the Cisco ASA, which is for the VLAN one inside, that will be a dynamic NAT, and between your DMZ, and the outside network, that's going to be a static net. Okay, so now let's configure static net first for the inside. Okay, so let's go to configuration mode. Object network. And we will give a name called um, internet, okay? Yeah, so subnet, we'll take subnet because there are a lot of host that's connected to the switch, right? So we'll specify a subnet to allow those hosts present for this subnet to reach the internet. So 192.168.10.0 with slash 24, yeah? Okay, and um, NAT, we need to specify NAT. So we will say from inside to outside, okay? And we will give the command dynamic interface. So this is the dynamic net. Okay, exit out. And next step is you need to configure access list. Access list, you can say access list, internet extended permit, permit what? TCP from any to any on the port number 80. You can also say www, okay? Access list, internet, extended, ICMP, okay? From any to any. Okay, you're getting, okay, we have missed the permit command. So access, list, internet, extended permit, ICMP, any to any, okay? And don't forget, very important to apply the access group 
So we will apply the same name that we specified, internet. Okay, so where are we applying for the in, in, incoming traffic towards the outside? Okay, exit. Let's verify now if you're able to reach the internet from any of these two PCs. So I'll take PC1. So I'll say ping 8.8.8.8. We're getting packet loss, but let's check. Okay, yeah, you're getting this error because between the ASA firewall and the router, we need to have a default route. So let's configure default route. Route outside. Zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. Same again. Okay, so just two hundred dot ten dot ten dot two. Two hundred dot ten dot ten dot two. Now it should work. Okay, let's try to ping the IP address. Ping eight dot. 8.8.8. You may see a 50% packet loss, but just wait for some time and ping again. And you can see 0% packet loss. So we have been successfully able to configure the ACL with a dynamic NAT for the inside and ping the Google server present on the VLAN 2. Okay, so now how do we ping from DMZ server to Google server? Let's apply static NAT. So on the Cisco ASA firewall, let's first create a static NAT. So we will specify object network. And we will say um, DMZ server. Okay. Yeah. And since I just need to allow only one host here. Okay. So 10.5. So we will say, just um, host type address instead of subnet and specify just the host address, okay? And then NAT. So what are we going to NAT here? We are NATing from the DMZ towards the outside. From the DMZ zone, we are NATing towards the outside, okay? So DMZ, outside and how are we netting statically and what is the static ip address we have simply taken 10 uh, 200.10.10.4 so we will specify the same 200.10.10.4 okay next step is access list So access list, we will say DMZ out, okay, Ex extended permit, TCP from any to any, over the port number, www, or you can say port number 80, access list, DMZ out, 
extend. Permit, TCP is what already we have given. So we will specify ICMP, okay? Okay, any to any. Exit. Again, do not forget to configure the access group. Access group, DMZ out. Where should we apply the access group? We need to apply that from the in interface towards the incoming towards the outside. Okay, so DMZ out. So we will use in input traffic. So for the input traffic, okay, from the ASA, we are going to reach the outside. Okay, so interface outside. Okay, exit out. Okay, so we have configured static NAT and applied access list and also created access group for our DMZ traffic to pass from the DMZ server to the Google IP address, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 so let's go ahead and try to ping from the server. Ping 8.8.8.8. You're, you're receiving the reply messages from the Google server for the ping that you have sent from the DMZ to the Cisco ASA firewall, and you have got the reply from the Google server. You can also verify you, if you can reach this public static public IP address if, if you want from the Google server and that should still work. Okay, so um, this is your uh, Google server, which is present in the VLAN outside. So from the Google server, I'm trying to reach the static public IP address 200.10.10.4 and that worked. That's still reachable. And how about this PC is present in the VLAN 1 for inside? Are you still able to reach the VLAN 2 for outside? Let's verify. So ping 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. That still works. So just to rephrase, all we have done today in our lab is we configured the dynamic NAT for the inside VLANs, okay? And static NAT for the DMZ to reach the outside and applied the access group on both these NATs and also we have been able to uh, achieve the traffic flow from the PCs present in inside reaching the Google IP address 8.8.8. .8 .8, okay. And we have been also been we have been successful to reach the Google IP address from DMZ server, which is present in the DMZ zone to the outside. Uh, okay, so, and we also verified from the Google server, we are able to reach the static IP address. So, uh, this completes the lab. I hope that you have uh, uh, felt this lab to be very useful and informative. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you in the next video.